hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to introduce you to a new family of models from google which is called as data gemma data gemma are the world's first open models designed to help address the challenges of hallucination by grounding a large language model in vast real world statistical data of google's data commons we will be covering all of these terminologies plus we will be installing this data gemma on our local system and then we will test it out there have been two models which were released yesterday by google one is this data gemma rack 27 billion and the other one is data gemma rack 27 billion i will be covering both but in separate videos in this video i am going to cover this data gemma rack 27 billion and then in the next one we will be looking at the data gemma rig for both of these we will be going through their architecture what exactly is happening here plus then we will be installing them on our local system and then we will test it out on various benchmarks okay so what exactly is this data gemma as i said it specifically deals with the hallucination problems in large language models and it uses the stat statistical data from google's data common so when we say hallucination what happens is that whenever you are doing rag or retrieval augmented generation which means that you are trying to provide context from your own data to large language model sometimes models uh, when they don't know the answer or they couldn't find the answer they simply fabricate the answer and give you misleading or wrong information or they just simply start lying that is what is called as hallucination and that's a huge problem i have even seen that problem in the very reputed models from the closed source and even the open source one and we have even uh, seen them during our testing of hundreds of models on the channel which you already have been following now that is where this data gemma tries to help out so rag enables language models to incorporate relevant information beyond their training data absorb more context and enable more comprehensive and informative output with data gemma this is made possible by leveraging gemini 1.5 pro's long context window data gemma retrieves relevant contextual information from data commons before the model initiates response generation that is a key thing here which minimizes the risk of hallucination and enhancing the accuracy of responses so what exactly is this data commons data commons is a publicly available knowledge graph containing over 240 billion rich data points across hundreds of thousands of stats statistical variables it sources this public in, public information from trusted organizations like united nations world health organization center for disease control and census bureaus and lot of other very reputed information and this empowers policy makers researchers and organizations seeking accurate insight you can think of data commons as a vast ever expanding database filled with reliable public data and that is where this data gemma has been trained also they have provided a lot of information in the model card which i will drop the link in video description around its training how it has been done and all that stuff now one thing you need to make sure that you uh, ha are signed in to hugging face it's a free uh, thing and then you would need to click here by scrolling down on this page login and then you should accept the uh terms and conditions because it's a gated model so it means that you had have, have to accept these terms and conditions by clicking on accept so i already have done it so let's go and try to get this installed and see how it works before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute and special one this time because on this uh for this video i am using h100 gpu first ever i am using this gpu so how let's see how it goes it has 80 gb of vram courtesy mast compute and if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices like me i would highly 
um, recommend them i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus also you can simply use spot instance which are um, temporary on-demand instances which gives you the spare idle gpu compute power from their uh, data center that is what i'm using okay so enough talk let me take you to my local system where i'll show you the configuration of my system so this is ubuntu 22.04 and this is a gpu card which i was talking about uh, nvidia h100 as you can see here and this is the 80 gb of vram which we will be utilizing and the reason why i'm using it because it's a 27 billion parameter model it won't fit on my usual a6000 gpu with 48 gb of vram okay so that is cool let me create a virtual environment with conda and i would highly suggest that you do that if you don't know what conda is please search the channel i already have the done the video on it so here i'm just creating this conda environment with dg let's wait for it to get created shouldn't take too long it's fairly quick and you can see that speed is way way better Next up, let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers and Hugging Face Hub because we would need to log in to Hugging Face Hub in order to uh, download that model. So make sure that you go to huggingface.co, sign in or sign up, go to your profile and grab your read key from Hugging Face. Okay, so let's wait for these things to get installed. The prerequisites are done. Let me log into Hugging Face by simply running this CLI command now it is asking for my token so let me quickly paste my token here it's a read token from hugging face I mentioned earlier press enter then press capital Y enter and then you can see that the login is now successful here okay so that is cool let's um, also install my Jupyter notebook here hopefully it will be installed so I'm just going to install it so that we could play around with the model in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get installed so my Jupyter notebook is launched now let me import the libraries which we have installed and then now let's download the model and its tokenizer and the model has started downloading as you can see there are 12 shards of it so let's wait for it to get finished the second last shard is being downloaded and now it's the last shard shouldn't take too long now after the download it loads this model onto the gpu so let's wait for it to get loaded just like this you can see that it is being loaded onto the gpu 50 percent done and the model is also loaded onto onto the gpu the size is around 45 gig for the full model Okay, so now let's try to see how the inference is done in this unique model. So you see, we have this input text and you can of course replace it with your own data, own document. You can pipe it in from any file. So here we are telling the model that your role is that of a question generator. Given query below, come up with a maximum of 25 statistical questions that help in answering the query. These are the only forms of test statistical question you can generate what is metric in place and this and this where we are explaining these terms what it needs to do so it is totally grounded and we are telling it your response should only have question one per line without any numbering or bullet if you cannot come up with statistical question to ask for a query return an empty response and then we are giving it a query and then we are checking what statistical questions it is going they're going to be and then we are passing it to tokenizer to convert this text into tokens model is generating the outputs we are decoding the answers back from the model and then we are printing it out so let me run it and you see that the model has now generated the responses and if you remember as i mentioned earlier that all this model is doing it is providing it is taking um, a query from you and then it is generating a natural language query or set of queries that can be understood by data commons existing language natural language interface so for example our query was what are some interesting trends in sunnyvale spanning gender age race immigration health condition economic conditions crime and some other stuff like 
I'll just scroll to the right and education and then on the basis of it you see it has generated a lot of questions in natural language so let me uh, pick up one of it copy it go to data commons and you see there is a natural language interface you just paste your uh, question here let's wait for it there you go so it is telling you you know all about you know uh, because what you asked was what is the number of foreign born residents in Sunnyvale and then from there you are just telling it uh, the answer and not only that you see there is a graph here and then you can download it you can just click here to see per capita and then it is just going uh, more and more into that detail so for example you just pick up another random one for example we go with what is the unemployment rate uh, rate in Sunnyvale let's go here and then let's go here press enter there you go so this is the unemployment rail, uh, rate okay no sorry I think I just picked up the different one I just picked up the right one okay let me I think I didn't copy it let me copy it properly and now let me paste it here press enter that's much better so the, there you go and then you can of course go with the related topic this is unemployment rate 3.8 so you see how good this model is and this data set is amazing very very high quality and you can get most of the answers from there so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it so this is doing a rag in the next video i am going to show you how the rig part with this data gemma works if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.